Hey, this is Seth here at Alva's, and today we have a fight to the death, the death, between Knox and Chris. Knox is playing the victory V30 Countess against its big brother, the V130 Super Countess, which is being played by Chris. Knox, show us what you're working with. So I have a PRS SE Custom going uh, front end with the Exotic Effects ACRC, fantastic pedal. Uh, in the effects loop I have a Strymon Dig uh, Digital Delay and a Earthquaker Devices Afterneath. Awesome. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. So I'm playing <laughs> a Fender Blacktop with two humbuckers. Uh, in front of the amp I'm rocking the Archer. Uh, the Gold Archer by J Rocket. In the effects loop, I have the El Capistan and the Blue Sky by Strymon. Um, for my cab, I have the. It's got two V30s in it. It's mic'd with the SM57. And then our power supply for both of our rigs is running via the Zuma by Strymon. It's also the same mic on this one, SM57, same. and the V Celestian V30s, yep. 212. So it's very similar, but we're just going to talk about the differences now. But first, I need to hear some clean tones. So, Knox, would you clean uh, show us your clean tone? Here we go. That's pretty quick. Can you beat that? Yeah. is the fact that it doesn't have reverb. Um, it's got a great clean tone, but it's just missing the reverb. So for, what I, for me, I've added the blue sky to my effects loop, and he has that thing in his effects loop. It's an afterneath, man. It's pretty easy to run these things through the loop, so uh, and get the sound you want. Can we hear that? Okay, somebody who wants to start? Yeah, I'll start. So this is my dig digital delay in the afterneath. Do you dig it? I dig it. Nice. nice. just took us to outer space with that. Yeah, no For me, I'm just going to use the blue sky. I'm not going to add any delay. And here it is. how he likes to use his reverb, I'm guessing. Very subtle. My reverb yeah. is very subtle. We're also powered by Snark Tuners. Snark mm. Tuners. I love it. Tuned by Snark. Tuned by Snark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, that's great. We got some wonderful cleans, but now we need to move on. Uh, now, here is it where really it lies the big difference between <laughs> the Super Countess and the other Countess. Uh, the other one. Sorry. Right. I don't mean to treat you so bad. That's okay, uh, maybe. He the didn't other mean one. that. He didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> the little this brother, man. little brother doesn't have what they call a clean crunch section. This one does. And it's all accessible on the foot switch and the front panel. It's awesome. When I switch it to this crunch setting, what it does is it gives you like a nice classic rock sound. And I'm going to let Chris uh, show that. What, yeah. do you, where are you, what do you set so on that? So for my gain right now, I'm pretty much at noon for that. Um, yeah. Crunch 
Yes. Yes. Sounds awesome. That's my probably my favorite feature of the V130. All right. Let's here. see if a little brother can compensate with his. Uh, so I'm RC. just gonna yeah I'm just gonna use the RC booster uh, in front of the amp. So I have the clean gain just about noon as well. Um, but here's with the RC booster. Sounds great. It does. That's you a could, great pedal. You know, there are different different things. This is valve driven, right? This is transistor pedal. stuff like that. Pedals, but you could really, you could dial, really that in. Yeah, you could you could dial that. that pedal in and yeah. get, a, get a good tone. It's got a treble and bass control, so yeah. um, you can get a lot of sounds out of it. So it's pretty cool. You can compensate with it, and it kind of depends on the player too. Some players enjoy you know getting their gain from pedals. I myself personally like getting the gain from an amp. So I mean, either way, it's, it these, these amps good. take pedals awesome. Oh yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah, they're great. Front, effects loop, all that. So, All right, so... Um, Would you like me to dime? Yeah, the you need to dime the uh, clean gain there. The clean crunch gain, what do we call it? Mm. Smash yeah. it. Overdrive sections of these amps. So that was all clean crunch. That's pretty crazy that that could do that. So yeah, like it's pretty heavy. This one has two different voicings. On voice two is this. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is voice two. Voice two is the same exact as just the regular overdrive section in this. So this yep. here, the V130 is wonderful. That's rock. a V30, by the way. Uh, V130 is this one. Yes. See, even I get confused sometimes. Minus 100. Huh? V130 minus 100. Minus 100. <laughs> there you go. Wow, you threw me off there. I didn't know what you are doing. So this, <laughs> was, right, this, so was lost. this thing really rocks. So this is my overdrive channel with, uh, or we gained a one? Uh, one o'clock? Yeah. All right. Yeah. There we go. is 42 watts. What was that? I believe it's actually 37 when it's in overdrive mode. I thought it was 42. 42 in the clean channel. You need to read the oh. specs. Anyway, this thing is a whopping 110 watts. 27 pounds, which is not that bad. I've, you know, other heads are really heavy. This one, though, the baby, is only 18 pounds. Awesome. It's fantastic. It's super portable. It's not a baby. It's super portable. It's just a little brother. Yeah. Now we're going to take a look at uh, voice number one here on the Victory has an additional voice of overdrive other than the V30 that doesn't have it. And it kind of tightens up what the overdrive is on uh, that amp. Definitely. Yeah. And after he plays that, we're going to have him try to emulate that via the ACRC booster. Yeah. Totally. Try to match it. So we're going to kind of go for that sound. So go right ahead, Chris. <laughs> Turn the gain down and the bass a little bit, um, and hopefully that'll tighten it up. 
for the RC side of the ACRC pedal. My fingers were sloppy from lunch. <laughs> That's how the chords are supposed to sound. That's how it's supposed to sound. <laughs> <laughs> I think it tightened it up a little bit. I think it did. did. A little bit. That day you brought in your precision drive. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would elaborate on that. I sure did. No, I didn't even say them all. What? <laughs> yep. Yeah, bring it yeah, uh, into this. The Horizon Devices precision drive is fantastic for really <laughs> tightening it up that low end, and it sounded fantastic at the V30. It did. It, it made it sound pretty much exactly like mm -hmm. Voice One. Yep. yep. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Sweet. All right. So I guess what we're going to do now is we're just going to have them do their uh, favorite sounds. Whatever the kind of sounds they want to use, pedals, make yeah. these things sound good. So for me, with my Archer, I kind of have the gain at uh, noon, the output at like nine, the, or fuck me. Yeah, <laughs> you can just take a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just play. Yeah. <laughs> hey, okay, okay. So I'm going to play in voice one. I'm just going to add a little bit of reverb and the Archer. solo tone right there with Ooh. this thing. It's just, I add the reverb to it, and then the archer. I mean, I really don't even need the archer. I just like the tone of a, of a like, kind of a more mellow overdrive to my solo licks. All right, man, ball's in your chord now. Yeah, I don't know. Since I ain't no uh, master shredder, <laughs> uh, no, I... <laughs> I'll, I'll just be the riff lord over here. <laughs> riff lord and master riff shredder. Lord. C minor sus suspended 14, 16 over this. I think that's what it was. You screwed up. And I don't know. It. And then what I'm going to do really quick is uh, I really love the clean crunch, so I'm just going to mess around with that a little bit, add a little bit of reverb to that, and just, you know, kind of give it a little bit more. And it responds great to the guitar. You know, I can roll back up on the volume, and it cleans up fine, and then I can dial it back in, and it's heavy again, but...
this thing is amazing. It is amazing. All right, it's time to give our uh, verdicts. I think all three I of us are going to give a verdict. Who wants to go first? Who's going first? The Rip Lord or the Shredmaster? I'm no Shredmaster, though. <laughs> you are, though. I'm a Shredmeister. <laughs> might be a Meister. Shredmeister. <laughs> which <laughs> one <laughs> wins the battle? Not playing wise, but which one wins the uh, tone battle, as so, I say. So, I'd say. Ultimately, the customer. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'm just stupid. I'll start. Uh, I, I said this at the beginning of the video. I think the crunch channel on the clean is by far my favorite sound out of both these amps and most of the amps that I've ever tried. I love that sound. I love the classic rock, just kind of gritty feeling. Um, and that's something I feel like I could use a lot of the time. However, I love how compact this is. I love that it has everything that I need in a small amp uh, setup in a compact form. Uh, I'm also a Kraken owner, and but I love, I could still get some kind of metal tones with it. Oh, for sure. Um, and using a booster or the like the precision drive that I have, I think that would be my get-up. So my money's on the V30. There it is. All right, Chris. It's me? It's you. Well, as a proud owner of a V30, which I love and I still play, I have to go with the V130. Um... That clean, the clean crunch is just amazing to me. Just that tone I can get from that, and then the voice one, how it just tightens up the uh, the overdrive sounds amazing to me. That was a big issue of mine, is sometimes with the overdrive, it can get a little... Saggy. Saggy, yeah, that's a good word for it. And that just tightens it up. Um, pros and cons, I mean, I prefer the wattage with the smaller one, because, you know, I don't know, I, I don't need to play a 100 watt head anymore. But I do like the fact that this can go lower. Um, oh yeah, we need to talk about that. Yeah. We've been playing it in low mode. We have, so this has been in yeah. low mode, so. This is about 50 watts it drops to, and this one drops to seven, and there's a back switch you can drop it to like .1 watt. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> like half and wear watt. the tubes evenly, <laughs> it's crazy. So that, that's like, that would be my biggest concern, is I prefer the low wattage of the V30, and that's what would want me to make me want to keep the V30, but I prefer the voice one and the clean crunch on this one. Ultimately, I would go with the V130. And, yeah. I'm going to be weird and uh, Goldilocks it kind of, I guess you want to say. I can't. Wendy's? I, yeah, Wendy's. <laughs> Wendy's, I guess. Um, what I mean by that is I, I can't really decide which one I like better. I ha I've had 100 watt heads in the past, and I've never really had a small head before, so... I really like this one, but the features on here are ridiculously killer, and I like I like clean headroom. I don't know about anybody else. I feel like it just has that much more headroom, that much more features. Now I'm going towards this one more, but I love the fact that this is so compact. Mm -hmm. You can take it on a flight. They designed it that way in the yeah. bag they give yeah. you. It's so simple. You know, you, uh, it's really hard to decide for me, so I don't have to decide because... Well, I, I guess if I end up getting one, I'll have to decide, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. On, give us a decision. This is Seth's tone This is my zone, decision? Not Seth's indecision corner. <laughs> because I already have a 100-watt head already that I don't want to sell, I would probably end up buying one of these. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Two V30s, one V130. There it is. Do you want to buy my V30? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks for, uh... Check us out on Alvis today. If you like these amps, come down. They are for sale here. Awesome prices. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our uh, YouTube page and have a nice day.